Hey guys, so I thought I would do this, so I have several humidors with me. I'm gonna go through a bunch of different cigars I have in it, and just kind of like give you thoughts on them, I guess, but here's the deal. So I've officially reached a point where I think this is more than a hobby, or this is like somewhat of a hobby, or maybe I dabble. I got this puppy, I got this puppy, oh, I forgot I got another humidor in the corner, um, got this one, got this one, and so let's kind of go over what a good fourth of july smoke would be even though i did not have one because i was busy all day i was meeting my girlfriend's parents so that was my july 4th it was a good day good day but so that was my day so here we have my little travel humidor you saw me post a review of it i have several decent little cigars so you know it's got two roman and Julietas, both 1875s and different variants oh you did not see this at all um, if you saw my Puffley interview, this is really great for the money. It's one of the best prices you can get, and the uh, the torch that comes with it is real snazzy as well. My humble opinion, real snazzy, especially for this price tag. I would say buy one of these yesterday. But so this here, very solid. But I got a bunch of different sticks. But um, I'm gonna say one here that I've been having that my shop sells is uh, this puppy, which is a JFR. And it's a very solid cigar for the price tag. It's a big stick, girthy, large, whatever. All right, so good cigar for what it is. I dig it. Um, and I will say, so um, Privada has a um, like a blend that they do. Like that's just like their seconds, I believe it is. But it's really good for what it is. So that one I really enjoy as well. So definitely recommend check that out as well while you are at it. Uh, but this is my travel. And so this will just go with me wherever I may wander to. Um, this is a desktop one that Puffland sent to me, and in it I got a bunch of different stacks, but including, this is a Ritmo, no idea, uh, this one I've had before, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, this is a Lancero, like, Clint Eastwood, that is not terrible for what it is, but I've been more on a, um, more on a real cigar kick as of late, so I'm not sure if I'll be enjoying that anytime soon, but... Got yeah, that, but the big, I guess the big one for me is my puppy I've been waiting to dabble in is this puppy, which is a Cuban Monte Cristo. So I'm going to smoke this one these days, probably on my birthday, honestly, which is coming up sooner than later. Um, old age is approaching and death will be soon in this corner. Um, and so I'll be there. But so this is one that I bought from a guy on Facebook Marketplace of all things, which you're not supposed to do, but whatever. Got to break the rules on occasion. Um, this is a Santa Damiana, and this is a really pleasant like afternoon stroll walk cigar. So I enjoy it quite a bit. So check this puppy out right here. Um, I would, uh, and this is a decent little ball bar that I have. Check this out, real fast. I have freaking dozens of these just stashed with other cigars i got this puppy here which is a good go-to not bad at all um got that i got this was a sancha cruise where the hell it is not bad at all i like it and this one i've been holding on to mother cluckin because it's called mother cluckin and who would name their cigar mother cluckin but someone who's really funny and someone i appreciate so that's why i have the cigar right here um do i know if it's good or not no i have no idea Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. All I know is that my cigars are just sitting there. I got like fucking 20 more of these, part of the language. Um, this won't be monetized anyway, so who cares? Um, but yeah, I'm kind of holding on to this just because the name is really funny. So we got to hold on to that cigar right there. Um, whatever the heck this is, but besides that. All right, so that's another humidor I got right there, just laying about with all these different cigars. One of these two, a bunch of other random ones. This is one from In Town. Um, that's okay. It's kind of mid, but it's not terrible. Um, but in here, I have a bunch of other assortments, just random ones. Some cigars are busted the hell up. Um, this is one that's pretty good. Um, it's, what's it called? Uh, La Madera Toro or whatever. I don't even know what the hell this is. Yeah, La, La, Madri La Madrina. Pretty good. Um, more Romeo and Julietas. Because as you know, I like my Romeo and Julietas. And then I just have a whole assortment, you know, more JFRs, got actually a couple JFRs, holy moly, got a couple in there laying about, um, got me this puppy, a flathead, which I need to indulge in sooner than later. Um, but yeah, it's a whole bunch of sticks, but basically, I'll be honest, I just haven't been, jeez louise, this is crunchy, I need to get this stuff humidified. 
But oh yeah, a lot of these sticks I have in here, like they're good and they're solid smokes, but I'm not like blown away by a lot of them. So I admittedly, I smoke a bunch of different cigars because I like to be able to have that perspective and be able to share with you guys and pretend I know what I'm talking about when I'm online on YouTube. But the reality of it is, is that I tend to refer back to the same several cigars because most cigars, as a friend of mine said, most cigars are good by and large, but uh, most cigars tend to be good, but definitely once you kind of get your preference down, your flavor profile, or whatever it is, you tend to stick to the same few cigars just because you know what you like and well, these are expensive, so why would you spend money on things that are average to mediocre? You know, spend money on things that are valuable, my guy. Um, but yeah, so do I have more cigars coming in the mail? Like, of course I do. I always do. Um, is this an addiction? Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I enjoy it. But so what my question for you guys who actually watch this is um, I really would ask like, what would you recommend I add what should I order what should I try um, you know I'm very open to trying new things he 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 I'm very open to trying new cigars and I'm very open to trying to get improve my palates and get my taste down and everything else so please recommend some what's your current go-to um, and I would love to hear it so comment down below um, thank you all um, Puffland again, thank you for sending those humidors. They're real legit, real dope. And my friends who've seen them, they love them. So I've been sharing that QCOM code. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Have the best of your life. Adios amigos. Bye-bye.